we start with getting them integrated philosophically so they understand a why coaching and mentoring and then we come to the how coaching and mentoring which is where we take them through the toolkit so typically coaches and mentors within our organization go through a one day workshop on coaching and mentoring um they can then voluntarily opt to go in for the SR coaching certification program which means they'll come back for a full fledged 3 days on coaching and um, and then we have our our trainers who would actually observe them in actual coaching sessions um they'd have to clock in 60 hours of coaching um go through a written examination and then get certified um post a panel interview so it's a little tedious and long drawn but um you know we have currently 65 of our managers who opted to voluntarily get onto the SR um coaching certification program what we do with them when they attend the one day program and thereafter because not everyone opts for the certification which is obviously a more long drawn process uh i must tell you here that a lot of them believe they're natural coaches which is they're very good at doing this already and there's no need for for technique or for formal um training on this um so what we do is we stay in touch with them through coffee sessions and um so the coffee sessions are just experience sharing sessions between the coaches so they know how they felt and and how what they experienced and what they're struggling with because the challenges that coaching or mentoring um happens within within the privacy of the coach and the coachy or the mentor or the mentee um so good and committed coaches and mentors obviously always want to know how they're faring um so these invitations for stories and experiences from the coaches and from the coaches and the mentees um goes a long way in giving them insights on how this entire program spanning out and how well they're doing um for the young ones who come in at an entry level um this is uh, the mentoring program is actually um is is through a structured workbook so it's essentially not only do the mentors get trained um uh, but we actually um if you for the lack of a better word monitor progress on the program through a workbook where in both the mentor and the mentee uh register their conversations and then come back and share that through what we call mentor mentee meets so mentor mentee meets is getting the two together and getting them to start off a dialogue and getting them to understand what our preferred style of mentoring really is and then of course we want stuff to you know carry on naturally and normally uh between the two of them um uh, we hire a whole lot of young engineers in remote locations which is essentially where our manufacturing hubs are located and it's very very common for mentors to become the foster families of the young engineers who are at these locations and invite them home for a home cooked meal um take them out for a movie take them out whenever the kids are going out somewhere so these kids pretty much get adopted by the mentor family mm-hmm. and i think uh, it, this has helped retention tremendously um so besides enhancing the happiness quotient and making them more productive early in the game um i think uh, it has gone a long way in making very many people very happy with the very um long term life lifelong relationships that they've created with their mentors so it's below industry um norms on attrition so typically our kind of you know um srs in, is doing business in the area of steel and um is oil and gas and we have you know shipping and logistics we're also um in the bpo space um we're in the pro- we're a projects um uh, business um so essentially largely a very large infrastructure conglomerate that does business from 25 countries across the world so um so yes we have our challenges in terms of being able to um retain people particularly in remote locations but our normal attrition rate is below industry standards so it's about at 8% industry standards at about 14 so 12 to 14 and we we're, we're averaging at about 8%